Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back with my friend Jesus from Gabe's Custom Interiors as well as Lopez Performance. I'm super excited about this because we shot the lead up of this car to SEMA, which mm -hmm. was 19, right? Yep. But we never got to drive it. Like we got to hear it running. We got to look at it all bitching and pretty, but we never got to drive it. So today we're gonna talk about what the car is yeah. and then ultimately we get to go drive it finally. The, or my favorite part. Ah, I'm so <laughs> stoked about this. Other than it being a 1969, what's here? Platform up, tell me about the build you've done. Yeah, so we use a Roadster Shop chassis and then power plant is a Mercury Racing SB4. So Mercury Racing builds boat engines. Right. Uh, but this is a LS based uh, dual overhead cam that they came up with. Uh, it's pushing 750 horsepower naturally aspirated and it sounds wicked. It uh, sounds, it yeah. sounds like nothing else. That's yeah. the thing, it's totally unique. It has a unique sound. That, then we got bare brakes, stopping, HRE wheels. And you did a custom set of wheels with HRE for this, right? Like a lot of this car is one-off stuff for this car, right? Yeah, these wheels are actually one of their production wheels, okay. but it, they did custom spaced it out, you know, for us the way we wanted the spacing and all that. Gotcha, right? okay. Um, then obviously my, my family, Gabe's Custom Interiors with the interior coming through. With the insane interior. I mean, yeah. for you, it's probably like, yeah, we did a really good one this time. For us, it's like one of the most exceptional interiors I've ever seen on a car. And the owner, Caesar, he just told me, do whatever you want. Not, a lot, of, donor, not right? a lot of people let you do that, you know? Right, So right. he trusted us and we came up with this crazy idea to throw in different color seats in there. Yep. Just to try to bring the gold in there without actually bringing gold inside. Yeah. As long as it gets people talking about the car, yeah. then we're okay. Some people love it, some people hate it. Yeah. Well, it's one of the things I love about this, and I know Sean Smith's a big part of this, is mm -hmm. the choices of colors on this car, the blue with the gold against it, all the gold going on under the engine, yeah. in the engine bay, all the carbon, the interior. Like, I know you and Sean work directly with each other, right? To, yeah. To really I mean, come up with what we see. We leaned on Sean really hard on this one. So it's 750 horsepower, what transmission, what rear end, all that it's stuff. It's a, a Tremec 256, and it's a four nine inch. Mm -hmm. uh, rear end. That all ca uh, came with the Roadster Shop chassis already. That's all um, Roadster Shop, it comes that way. Huh? Yeah. And it's then so cool. uh, obviously it's, you know, Corvette suspension with all their stuff. And so the so car handles what, pretty nice, I had to imagine. Car handles huh? great. Yeah. yeah. And we did the video out in the desert and we yeah. got the car on the side and it just yeah. it handled awesome. This is the kind of car a lot of guys get upset because typically it doesn't get driven, right? Yeah. Not only are you driving it, but you took it out into the desert into the sand, throwing it around, doing donuts and... Well, it started as it started off as a photo shoot, strictly photos. So we unloaded it, it was on the desert, beautiful snap pictures and we're, that's it. We got all the pictures we want. And the owner's like, could I just drive it here Come real quick? on. It's wide open, I can't hit anything. I'm like, dude, go for it. <laughs> Loses control, spins out, and the car is trapped. I mean, dust everywhere, right. inside the interior. So now and I'm like, well, we already got it dirty, so let's make a video. <laughs> and he's like, let's do it. So we just started hammering on there. So cool, man. You'll see some pictures of it. It was completely trash. Oh, I saw it. And I saw it. And I told Caesar, I'm like, my heart hurts a little bit to see it like this. Yeah. I'm like, but I'm, I'm loving that you're having fun. So Hell let's, yeah, man. let's just do it. And then well, we had Eric come and. Detail yeah, he told it. me. He told me he spent like 18 hours on the underside alone of the car. It was nuts, man. But he banged it out. He came out there. He was a trooper. <laughs> so let's go over here, dude. I want to show okay. kind of one of my favorite parts on this car was to use the Tesla door handles, right? Yeah, Tesla door handles. Um, so he wanted. I love that. He wanted a, a flush door handle. Right. But he's like, "What can we use that's a flush door handle?" So then we tried Lamborghini. We tried. Uh, Range Rover, we tried a bunch of other ho door handles. They were too big, too small, Yeah, didn't look right. And then I ordered a set of Tesla door handles, put them up there and they were the right size. Your whole tail light section is really badass. Not just that it's carbon, but the, again, the color combo of it, the fitment of it, the bumper tucked. And then I love that you guys ran the exhaust out the, out the balance there. So this, this rear bumper, we actually lowered it half an inch. This, this line here, is a, this is a natural body line, right? The bumper actually lands over this line. So what we did is we lowered the bumper half an inch and tucked it under this line. This line on a stock Camaro actually drops down here. Oh, really? So what we did is we cut that out and then we extended this line here 
and then we reshape the, the front of the bumper to kind of match the front bumper because these stock 69 Camaro are round here and pointed in the front. That's right. And then even in the interior, we wanted to do something different. So we added perf and then we were going to do perf in all these uh, little uh, pleats here. But then we decided to do one. You did every other one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Almost like a checkered pattern, oh if God, you will. The amount of hours into your door panel. Those are individual pieces sewn together. If I remember correctly, it's Lamborghini switches on your console, right? Lamborghini switches. What are the vents from? The vents are Ferrari. The vents are Ferrari. They're Ferrari, California, I think. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Certainly one of the, I mean, God, there's so many pieces in here. I mean, I look at the shifter knob. It's like one off, one off, one off, one off. Everywhere you look is one off. Yeah. One off steering wheel. Spark Industries made that for us. And then we but add, made it to your design. This yeah. isn't something that was available from the catalog or something nope. like that. Yeah, that's that's a design. And I had an idea of adding some kind of insert in there, whether it be paint or a different color. Yeah. And then I talked to Sean and then Sean uh, was like, why don't we add a little bit of carbon in there? I'm like, so you did Ooh. this whole carbon yeah. insert piece here. So then, yeah, we did a little carbon insert piece. So bitching. And then the dash, like th this is, so you guys have to build all this first, right? Before yep. you can wrap it. Is that all you guys that builds that in house? Yeah, that's all, all, all made out of aluminum. So we have a uh, excellent metal fabricator, uh, Carlos Dominguez, and that guy could build you anything you want. And so we're like, hey, you know, we showed him some pictures. I'm like, look, this is what we're gonna build. And he's like, done. And this seat, if I remember correctly, you. You start with what? Is it a Recaro? Yeah, it's a Recaro Sportster. But seat. then you you cut it down, right? Don't you? Yeah. So the uh, you know the factory Recaro seats, the headrests stick up and almost touch the headliner. So we cut them four and a half inches to bring that headrest down a little bit. But you still have a headrest for the protection. God forbid you get rear-ended or something. You've yeah, got that protection. Yeah, still have more than enough support. So. Yeah. And then with the carbon fiber backs on the seat. Mm -hmm. Most companies don't get their first build to be a SEMA car with a guy that's willing to really go deep with you budget wise. Cause I, I mean, I can ballpark guess that this car has got to be, I mean, it, and we don't have to talk dollar amounts, but I know it's got to be in the half million dollar range. I, I know it has to be. Yeah, easy. I mean, I know this interior you've got to have. I mean, if somebody came to you and said, build this interior, my guess is you're talking about somewhere around a hundred thousand dollars. Right in that range. <laughs> <laughs> we can maybe talk about more while we're driving, but uh, like, let's go for let's a drive, go. dude. Let's do, let's it. do it. We're going to go for a drive, you guys.
Man, it's just violent, dude. By far one of the most exceptional Camaros that I've ever seen built. Here's some more badasses for you. As always, thanks you guys. Mm -hmm.